Fasi kusema asanti jioni ya leo Tuko katika town kubwa inaitwa na nyuki Katika laikipi ya mashariki Katika ofisi za CDF Tumehudumiwa na wafanyikazi wa bunge la kitaifa Kikao ambacho kilikuwa na clerk Clerk of the Education Committee Na Sergeant Tam Na tumeweza kupatiana maoni yetu Kulingana na wamuzi uliofanywa na koti kule kirugwea Walivyo sema public participation iweza kurudiwa na ifanyiwe katika eneo la bunge. Na mimi kama mpiga kura wa county ya laikipia, laikipia East Constituency, nimekuja kufanya kazi yangu. Isikue tu nilisema mlima isiguzwe, lakini siku ya kiama sijapatikana. Niko na nimezidikishwa na marafiki zangu, na tumerudisha form zetu, or what we call the temperate ya public participation, clearly indicating that we are not in agreement with the proposal to remove the deputy president from the office of the second in, in command in the Republic of Kenya. Nimeangalia ile formu na bunge in their wisdom. Let me say as a former member of parliament, we do not yet have a fully backed act, a public participation. I hear sharia ya public participation bado imelara kule kwa corridor za bunge sijui kama inazunguka hiyo ofisi ya kimani wa Ishongwa ikirokota vumbi huko but me remind ourselves and Kenyans that our courts wamekuwa wakifanya uamuzi kuhusu mambo ya public participation kila mtu anaongea maneno yake lakini hatujakuwa na sheria ambayo ni standard ambayo itaweza kujua kama we have quality and standard public participation. The constitution is silent in matters public participation. But I believe parliament in their own wisdom wakamua this time they want to be very curative because of a ruling that was done when governor Wambora was the governor for Embu on matters to do with public participation. For the record let me note that the form that I have submitted today and Kenyans are submitting today they are not serialized. And that the form that I returned, that template, your public participation, I japigwa receive, I japigwa muhuri, it has not been stamped, that is fully, is fully received. Kwa hivo vile makarani wabunge watafanya na hiyo form, is up to them and we will meet at the courts. I'm here to see whether the process is due to field. If you submit your letter to courts, any clerk, whether it's a clerk of the National Assembly, the form inapigwa muhuri ya kuhakikisha imerisiviwa hata OB ukiwekwa ndani inapigwa muhuri ya kirauni ya serikali number three it is the time that you are given by parliament to conduct public participation as anticipated kwa sheria ya kutoa governor ama deputy governor or any state officer this one the role of public participation has been one that has been so rushed that the members of the public were not ready. They were working days. And today being a Saturday, a market day, and when members, Christians especially, who are, who are busy preparing to go to church tomorrow, wako na watoto nyumbani wakikibizana na sabatu. So I want to say that for the record, let Kenya know and our courts know that the time we were given for public participation Parliament stopped his business for the entire weekend so that they give us room to do what you are doing. I would have been happy if I met my member of parliament so that I also take part in playing my role as a voter because nobody came to us and nobody ever asked me directly or indirectly whether they should go ahead and impeach the deputy president. Public participation has been done now because the National Assembly is doing its work. But our members of parliament, the views they are giving and their standing, it is their own personal views and not collective views that are a representation of the people of Laikipia, whether Laikipia is north or Laikipia west. And therefore I say, the deputy president cannot be impeached on mere allegations. He must be impeached under gross misconduct, local and international law, if he has ever appeared before any court of law on criminal record and he has been tried and convicted 
And therefore Kenyans will be watching on Tuesday to see how our parliamentarians will vote. Finally, record on Tuesday, our members of parliament, especially the members of Laikipia, they went ahead to sign an impeachment motion. Whereas we had not seen the grounds. The grounds came to the public when the notice of motion was given. And we saw a number of them. 200, I think, and 19 of them had signed. I wanted to know whether the Katiba is clear and explicit or whether there are gaps. In regards to matters that are of national importance, touching on the president and the deputy president, national security, at what point should Wajiko be consulted? We are bringing our forms and our public opinion doing it at the constituency offices. It is of great concern for our courts to interpret, especially the constitutional courts, to make us understand why we do have IEBC commission in place. The very place where I casted my vote at Nanyuki Railway Station should be the place where I decide whether my vote should be divorced between the president and his, and his deputy president at the ballot. And therefore, is in our discourse and our conversation whether public participation concerning the removal of the president and the deputy president should be done at the polling station where they were both voted in or voted out. Imeskiliza maoni ya raia hapa. Raia wanasema kama deputy president anakwenda nyumbani hata rais waondoke wote wawili wakwenda nyumbani. Inchi irudishwa kwa Moses Wetangula tuende uchaguzi tena. Because an impeached deputy it indicates and a signal and a confirmation and I would like our constitutional courts to confirm is a direct impeachment to the president of the Republic of Kenya. The deputy, there is no work he can do without him being delegated work by his boss. And therefore the boss must also come out strongly. And we look forward to have the president of the Republic of Kenya in courts. Aweke kirauni yake chini, akuje kotini. Atueleze hii maneno tunaambiwa. That the president has been insubordinated. There is nothing like, uh, like anything like a conviction on tribalism. If there are tribalism, kuna commission inaitwa national cohesion. Waende uko. Na hii mali munashinda mukiongelelea uku ya Rigathi. Rigathi is not a poor man. Some of his estate belongs to his uh, former governor Nyeri. Governor Nyeri who was on GNU party and a close associate and friend of our area member of parliament Mwangi Kionjuri. He is the best custodian of his best friend who went to be with the Lord. He knows his properties from Olive Gardens Hotel where he was a regular visitor to other properties. And therefore we are clear this case is based on nothing than hatred, malice, allegations and our parliament we beseech you with all decency do not be moved by malice, witch hunt, household witchcraft, household, uh, household uh, witch hunt. It should be a case of something alleged and proven beyond reasonable doubt. We are looking up to our courts and we ask our sister Mother Kome, brace yourself. We have seen parliament trying to intimidate you because of CDF. We want you to stand tall in our judiciary and know that it is our parliamentarians who are doing this economical sabotage, political sabotage and social sabotage. The people of Kenya are suffering. And the people of Kenya, they know their savior is no longer parliament. Their savior is Jehovah himself and our courts. We pray for you to do your work. And I know you are not moved by feelings. You are not moved by malice. You are not moved by likes or dislike. I pray that you stand up to make sure Kenya stands on its feet when our parliament fails. us. We are ready for Tuesday. We will appear in parliament. Do what we do best. And our candidate is very ready. He has been doing his homework with a battalion of lawyers who you will see. And there are no joke. There are people who know their job and who are seasoned. And we will prove to this country that indeed the President of the Republic of Kenya, himself and his friends, himself and his few friends around him, both in business and, in, and those who are his peers and his associates and even those who are working for him, they have a problem with Rigathi Gashagwa because Rigathi Gashagwa is a truthful man. Kwa hivyo na ungana na Kenya kusema kufa dereva, kufa makanga. Na kama munasema Rigathi ni mbaya, kiongozi wake na anaya ongoza hita ifa la Kenya. Ajiito mkutano kabla ya Tuesday, 
ajue ya kwamba a vote of impeachment to his deputy is a direct impeachment to his presidency and his regime. Asante. Thank you.